All right, hey there, boys and girls, how's it going? Uh, I guess we're gonna call this chapter three of the uh, Monogram Typhoon build. And uh, as, you, as you're gonna see here, we're basically painting the cockpit and doing the detailing on the cockpit and stuff up until we're about ready to seal the thing up, but we won't get that far. Um, one thing I do wanna mention that was very interesting, um, you know, I mentioned before that I'm going to be, my plan going forward is to do everything gear up if I can, if it's not too much of a hassle. And um, this kit was originally released in 1969. What I have here is a boxing from 1990. Now these 1990 instructions are your typical modern, quote unquote modern, um, pictograph instructions, okay? Well, when I was putting this tailwheel in, I noticed that there was three pins on the fuselage back there, but there's only two pins in the, um, the actual tailwheel assembly itself. And through reasoning and deduction, I figured out that that's, that extra pin was so that you could do it, put the tailwheel in the up position which solved my problem of trying to figure out how I was going to do that. But what's even more interesting than that is, just for the heck of it, out of curiosity, and because I'm a nerd, I went and dug up a copy of the 1969 instruction sheet, the original instruction sheet, the one that has the text. And for those of us that remember this, they had monogram instructions used to have text instructions and they had check boxes so that you could check off each step. Anyway, um, and guess what? It mentions a gear up option and mentions doing that. But for some reason that did not make it into the 1990 instruction manual. And whether that's because they couldn't figure out how to do it in a pictograph or what, I don't know. But I just thought it was really interesting that the original release of the kit from 1969 does allow you a gear up option. And the 1990 re-release mentions nothing about that at all nothing so anyway um let's get on with it shall we all right boys and girls here we go we are Gonna start painting some stuff here. Um, as you can see, I've got the base colors blocked in um, on everything. So I'm just going to take all this stuff. I'm gonna take all this stuff and move it over to the side. And I'm gonna flip our paper over. All right. bring this back in here and I've still got to deal I need to find a way to deal with this uh, lighting issue where I don't have where the camera's cutting, cutting the light off because oh. that's not helpful there that'll help a little bit okay so um couple things I need to do. One, I need to get rid of this seam here on this guy, which is, it's not a seam, it's a, it's flash. Whole lot of flash going on right here. Now, is this the greatest pilot figure in the world? No, but I will say this, at least he is more animated than the early Tamiya pilot figures <laughs> with their hands on their knees. It's like, what are they doing? They all look the same. <clears throat> That's all right. Okay. And this doesn't have to be fantastic. I just need to get the major bits of it out. All right, there's that. 
this is good. Dry brushing there. All right, so we're gonna paint, do some detail painting. Um, so what I wanna do is I want to highlight this framing that's in here in silver. See the framing? I wanna hide that, highlight that with a, some kind of metallic. And then we'll do the control boxes in black. And then as we talked about before, we're going to um, rub the black off the high spots here because we painted this white first, remember? So there is white paint under there. And as you can see, you don't, you just use your finger. You don't need, don't get crazy with sandpaper and stuff because you don't need to. You can just rub it as I'm doing here. You see that? See how that's coming off? All I did was I painted this with white Steinol Res Primer, remember? And then I painted it with what? What did we do? We brush painted it, right? No, we didn't. We airbrushed it with Vallejo model color. Of course, thinned. And now I'm just rubbing it with my thumb. It really is that simple. And this is more controllable than trying to paint it with a paintbrush. Well, let me get this other stuff out of here. All right, I know this is taking a little bit of time, but I don't want to overdo it. And it's not a big deal. You just paint it black again and, and do it again, but I'd rather not have to do that. I'm pretty happy with that, except for this right here. I'm really trying to get that top edge on this thing. I just can't get to it. There we go. Just a little help from our friend, right? My little friend, a little help from my little friend. Okay. There we are. How's that? Pretty cool, huh? So 
set that off to the side. <clears throat> so, um, I don't need to do anything here, and I'm, I'm not sure what to do with the stick yet. Um, we could actually attach the stick to the base. I should have done that before I painted it. <laughs> but I didn't. Um, so let me do that right now. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to put this in here. Get it as straight as I can. And just like that. And we'll set that off to the side. Okay. So here we go. How are we going to do this? Um, well, there's a couple things we can do. Um, we can come in here with uh, pencils, or we could come in here with uh, and dry brush it. I mean, I'm not crazy enough to try and paint it, paint it. You know, come in here with a brush and try and paint this raised stuff. But this, this pencil is actually quite effective. Now this, I mean, if you've been watching for a long time or you're old school like me, you've seen me do instrument panels and stuff with this quite often um, because it works. And if it works, it works, right? What do, we, what do we say? Hey, if it works for you, it's fine. You don't you don't have to try all the new stuff, right? How many times have we had this conversation? You don't have to do all the new stuff. You find what works for you. And if it's good enough, it's good enough, and you move on. Um, there's no rules that say that you have to try all the new stuff. There's nothing to say you can't. If that's what you want to do, go ahead. All I'm telling you is not necessary. Now see, this is just, it's just a pencil. <laughs> it's all it is. It's a Prismacolor silver pencil. Um, And you just sharpen it with a pencil sharpener like any other pencil. And then we're coming in here and we're painting it. Now, I am not sure, honestly, if this is accurate. And the reason I say that is because I seen this on a restoration. Where I saw this was on a restoration. And, and the reason I question it is, you know, you look at the hurricane and, and, and with the hurricane... Yeah, the entire cockpit is uh, silver. Um, but it's also a fabric. Well, some of them were, some of it was fabric covered. It's, it had a frame in it, basically, is what I'm saying. So, um, I guess what I'm getting at here is, is this is kind of artistic license on my part because I don't really have what I consider to be a good reference on what the what a period cockpit looked like. Um, it's not saying it's not out there. I just don't have easy access to such a thing right now. And I don't care. Um... I think this is plausible, but honestly, I think if they went to the trouble to paint the cockpit interior, they would have painted the whole thing. Um, do I think it's possible they never painted it and they left the whole thing silver? Yeah, I think that's a possibility too. Um, but truth be told, I don't know. Okay, now that's not... Crazy bright, I know. It's just enough to know that it's there. And that's okay. That is perfectly okay. 
And then we're just going to come over here and do the same thing on this one. Now, could I dry brush this? I could. Um, it would be much more time consuming and probably re result in many more errors and things that I would have to fix. And I'm, I don't want to go there. Whoops, I got some on the green, but that's back behind the panel, so, oh well. Getting, getting sloppy, getting sloppy. It's all right. We'll wash it in a minute. Some of this stuff is behind the seat and, and different places, so. I'm not too worried about it. It is awfully hard to get in here in some places. All right, I need to set this down. Our eyesight is getting worse and worse. Okay, there's that. So we're going to call that good there. Now, what about this guy? we got to do something here, huh? So I'm just going to take... Highlight this guy real quick. Now, a lot of, I, have a, I have this silver one and I have a white one. And a lot of times I will use the white one. Um, just trying to see how this is going to work here. Not bad. Um, a lot of times I'll use the white one um, because it's, I don't know, it's a different, just, it looks different. It's a different effect. So it just depends. I, I I need to get a gray one because a gray one again would give you a whole nother effect. And and gray is is very you can use gray. I use gray as a dry brushing highlight a lot, regardless of base color. I just I'll just use a light gray because everything fades to gray right i mean it's just the way things go okay now i just i need to come in here and soften this up so it doesn't look like a bunch of pencil strokes okay all i'm doing here is showing you how simple this can be you know it's it, you don't need five hundred dollars worth of mig stuff to build a decent model doesn't mean you can't have it. Of course you can. But it's not a necessity. Now I <laughs> I know I guess some some people have said that I get caught up on I get too caught up with the money aspect of it and whatnot. And that's not that's not really my my point, my point, like I just said, is you don't need all that stuff to do good work. You can do good work just like this with what we're doing here. All right, we'll put that off to the side. Um, I'm not going to chip a lot of this. And um, the reason being is... is, is uh, I think a lot of what gets done with chipping and stuff on models uh, is is 
unrealistic is fantasy. Um, so I'm not, so I'm choosing not to go there. Now this, I need to decide how I'm going to mount this. Is that how you do it up? Are you serious? Did they give you the option? Is that what this pin is for? Is this pin to do the wheel? Look at that. Look at that. Are you serious, monogram? Are you really serious here? Look at what they did. They gave us a set of pins to do wheels up. Did they do that on purpose? Hang on. See, there's this, there's the pin, the pin's right there in the drawing, but they sure don't say anything about using it. Wow, I'm totally blown away right now. <laughs> How cool is that? How absolutely cool is that? Okay. Um, so what am I going to do here? So do I paint this wheel now or later? I'll paint it later because it's not going to matter. It's just going to be a black hole. That's totally bizarre. Okay. <laughs> so once I do this, obviously I am locked into um, doing it wheels up. And that's okay. It's time for commitment. <laughs> so all you guys that are afraid of a commitment out there, all you guys and ga gals that are afraid of commitment, this is no place for you. No. <laughs> uh, the no pansy zone. All right. Make sure it's straight with the... Fusilagi. And it is lined up perfectly. And I may not even bother painting that at all because it looks okay. Just, just the way it is. I, I, might, I might throw some silver in there on a strut or something. But as far as looking good, it looks good. So now the question is, do I want to... Um, put some glass in the cockpit. Don't want to put glass on the dials. You know, and as small as those dials and stuff are, I'm not worried about it on this one. I'm really not. Um, I do want to rub it a little more because I think there's some places I think we could get it to be a, I think it needs to be a little brighter in places so I'm going to come in here and keep rubbing on this because some of it's just a little grayed out I want to get some more brightness going in places Yeah, there we go. Much ha much happier with that. Much happier with that. Okay. All right. I'm going to put my pencil away. I don't need that anymore. Um, I do want to come in here with a brush. Just kind of brush the stuff around a little bit. Knock anything that's loose, you know, any loose pieces of pencil. I don't want to call it lead. It's not lead, obviously. I don't know what it is, but okay, so there's that. Um, and now we could actually put. We could actually start assembling our. Oh no, we can't because we need to. We need to paint the. Uh, our 
our our boxes, our radio boxes and stuff need to be painted. Okay, there's there's two ways to do this. We can do it with a sharpie. Okay, which is is doable, but it's not preferred. And there's a couple reasons why you don't want to do this. I'm going to do it on this one just for the heck of it. But the main reasons being, um, your clear coats can make this stuff run, depending on what you use. It's it, these things are not. Even the permanent ones aren't permanent anymore. You know, they used to be. Um, oh, they were solvent based, and I don't remember what they used in them. Um, but they're they're all alcohol based anymore, and even when they say permanent, and they're just they're not as. I used to work in the cable industry, wire making little wire harnesses and stuff and flat cable and data, data ribbon cable and things like that. And we used permanent ink to mark the cables in those days. And um, at some point in, I want to say somewhere in the 2000s, they changed the formulas for the um, for the inks, and they they went to an alcohol based formula, which just doesn't it just doesn't work. It just it's not durable. It doesn't it's not permanent at all. They they say it's permanent, but it's not permanent. <laughs> Plain and simple, it's just not. Um, so anyway, there's that. So um, now what? Now what we need to do is we need to seal this in. Um, now, yeah, can I do a bunch of other stuff and whatnot? Absolutely. I, I'm not going to. Um, well, I need to. I do need to finish the control column. Um, and I don't know why this thing is not solid it's still kind of there definitely got glue on at that time maybe i didn't actually get any glue on it the last time Okay, we'll let that sit for a minute. <sighs> Come on, darn it. I just want it to be straight. I'm not asking much. Or am I? <laughs> okay, close enough. Um, and we got to paint the pilot at some point. Since we're going wheels up, we got to have a pilot, right? So I'm looking at this this uh, stuff in here again, and I'm I'm wanting to do a little more of this. I'm just not seeing enough silver here. Although it might pop once we do the wash. We'll leave it. We'll do the wash. Okay. Now, um, 
for the wash, we're just going to use panel liner. And I'm just going to use brown. I'm going to start with brown and see where we end up. Um, I'm going to put that in there so that it doesn't just leak all over the place. I am not going to wash the... Uh, I'm not going to put a wash on the instrument panel or the radiator there. But I am going to do it everywhere else, including the seat. And I know you're not going to be able to see this very well. I think it needs its own bowl. Actually, yeah, I like it sitting on its back like that. Maybe at an angle like that, how's that? And then this one, Now I find that the brown is very, at least to my eye, is very subtle. I don't know what it's going to look like on this green. Um, I could go in here and do a... Um, a clay wash. To, to dirty it up. Um, and I might. We'll see. Um, but after this... Sometimes you got to do this in stages. So like this seat after this dries, what I'm probably going to have to do is go back and do it with it standing up. Um, but we'll see. And then here we go here. And I'm starting in the extremities where you can't really see because I want to see what it's going to do and how it's going to look. And I think we're fine here, okay. Don't be bashful. I know a lot of people get bashful and they're very careful with their application and all this and I don't I don't I think that you're you're kind of losing some of the effect when you when you're careful with where, how you apply it I mean just let it go this is you know this is one of those times when it's just just let it go man <laughs> just let it do its thing it'll be fine um, you want that contrast so yeah let it do its thing so yeah that looks way better already and the brown is a good choice I think here so, um, the black can be harsh, but it's also, um, well, you know, it depends on what you like. I'm, I'm, uh, I like contrast. Um, I was a pretty serious photographer at one point in my life, and high contrast was just my thing. And a lot of people didn't like it, and a lot of people did. Um, well, I would say more people didn't than did, than did, and that's why I'm not a professional photographer, because I wanted to take the pictures I wanted to take, and not the pictures that people wanted to buy. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. Um, you know, if you're going to be an artist, you have to be okay with people hating your stuff. They're not liking it. 
Art, a, a, a real artist doesn't care what people think of their stuff. <laughs> and that's how, I'll, that's how I'll put it. A true artist doesn't care what you think of their stuff. I'll get hate mail on that one now, I know for sure, right? Okay. Um, so we're good there. This is... Uh, this needs more. It's not enough. Okay. And we already know this is, we're gonna, we wanna tilt this up and add more. Okay. Do we need some back here? Not really, but we'll do it anyway. There's no reason to do that to the instrument panel, and there's really no reason to do it here. Um, although we could, just to see what it would do, but it's not going to do much. I think we should just leave this alone. And that was just uh, Tamiya's brown panel liner. All right, well, I hope that was worth your time. Um, if you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Hey, even if you didn't like it, right? <laughs> I'm okay with, uh, with, with whatever, with any kind of reaction. It's, it's all good. Um, so next time we're going to, uh, oh, we'll be painting the pilot and finishing up the cockpit. And I imagine getting the fuselage together and maybe even start working on the wing. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but until then, as usual, take care of the people you love and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. I wonder what that extra pen is for. Well, it's for doing gear up. Are you serious? Sorry.